Hello World Changers. I'm Niza and I'm Rains and, and this, this is HYD. Guys, you are so welcome. We are happy to see you. We are happy to have you here. Please let us know where you're watching it from and who you're with. Rains, if you were to describe how you're feeling with a fruit, how would you do it? I think I'd say a grape. They're sweet but not too sweet. Yeah. They're just right. Okay. And you? A mango. See, a mango is fantastic, but it has towards it, you know? You're feeling like a mango. I'm feeling like a mango. That's exciting to hear. And we'd love to hear from you as well. Tell us what fruits you're feeling like, why you're feeling like that. We'd just like to connect with you. Guys, HYD is our teen service here at Watoto Church where we hope to engage with you, encourage you and empower you with the word to be world changers for Christ in our community. And if, it's, and if this is your first time watching HYD, we're so excited to have you here and we'd like to connect with you so you can reach out to us at Watoto Morph on Instagram or you can email us at morph.connect at watotochurch.com or you can call the number on your screen. And if you missed last week's conversation, please head on over to our YouTube channel at Watoto Church and find our HYD playlist and be empowered. And this week, we're going to have some prayer segments, three minutes prayer per prayer. But Reigns, speaking of last week, week, you went on history making the road. I did. Ooh, how was that? It was such a humbling but also exciting experience. Humbling because I got to realize that we take things like having a Bible for granted. Very many people wanted to know about Jesus and learn more about him, but they didn't have Bibles. But also exciting because we were able to reach 10 mission points and 63 people gave their lives to Christ. And on top of that, 11 people got baptized. They publicly professed their love for Christ. So it was just a blessing to be a part of that. That was amazing. Ooh, I can't wait to go for the next one. But, you know, speaking of camp. There's, there's more camp coming up. Ooh. Guys, details will come soon. But first, if you're like me and you missed the makers on the road, let's watch a little video. Living water flowing. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no manifest, I'm reaping what I'm He told me he would do it and he wasn't joking. Oh, no. He the difference between how I was and how it's going. Wet, whole team going down in the chat. Nobody's running, I came from way in the back. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to day three. It's a beautiful day. Join us if we take you. On, on the, the road, road tidbit. I've been on my grind. This a lift up. All on God's time, homie in a wristwatch. Running after Jesus, got the devil pissed off. Told them they gon' know this song like it's up on TikTok. Shepherd of the sheep, sheep. Gospel in the street, street. Church like every week. Heaven for the meat, meat. Bible in my backpack. I don't need a piece, piece. Homie, if they ask, tell them I'm a Jesus freak, freak. I've been in the booth, Holy Spirit. Yeah, guys, it's Kakoji time. Welcome to Mali. later more young so people to focus good father who loves us thank you for why you said we made a camp 
Welcome, welcome back from those wonderful video highlights. Last week we were in Jinja, Iganga, and in Bali, and we had the time of our lives. And we were just camping, but we were not just camping. We were having fun, but we were not just having fun because we were reaching out to souls. And, you, and in case you missed, we are going to be having our teens move camp this January. My name is Aaron Ongom, and I serve with the teens and the young adults at Watoto Church, Bukolobi. My name is Innocent Karabo and I serve with the teens at Watoto Church, Kansanga. And my name is Colin Segao and I get to serve here at downtown with the teens and the young people. Wow, thank you so much. And uh, thanks so much for being with us. We are going to have a good time, I'm sure, here sure. as we conclude our sermon series. Because we have been going through a sermon series called Transformed, in which we are looking at our identity. Christ Jesus and also we were looking at the issue of the LGBTQ we are going to conclude that someone series with prayer because we know that prayer changes and prayer provides wonderful testimonies all the way through that's very true you know the Bible says that God will never leave us nor forsake us in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 I, I want us I want to prompt you into prayer uh, with this that God will give us the ability to walk with him we want to walk with Jesus I tell you it is through prayer that we can be able to obtain this ability and, and I want to ask my team and all of you wherever you are to pray with me and ask the Lord to prompt you to give you a desire to, 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 to walk with him uh, right now, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and ask him to give you a desire. Go ahead and ask him to give you a desire, to walk with him in a special way. And thank you, Jesus, for what you are doing in our lives. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for what you are doing in the teenagers around the world, starting from here at downtown to the nations of the world. Lord, we ask you to give us a desire, a hunger, a hunger for you, a hunger for your word, a hunger to, to see what you are doing in our lives, that we may desire to sit at your feet and walk with you on a daily basis, that we be conscious of your presence every day of our lives. Father, we thank you because you are calling us, you are drawing us, you are luring us into walking you every day in the name of jesus we, we 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 bring our lives to you we bring our hopes to you we bring everything to you that you may hold our hands can walk with you the bible tells us that the holy spirit has been granted to us to help us holy spirit help us to walk with jesus to recognize jesus in our lives father we bless you because you are doing it 
come on, wherever you are, raise your hand and, 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 and start crying out to God. Stand on your feet. Stand and, and, and cry to God. Tell him, Holy Spirit, I need my life to be on fire. I want my life to be a different kind of life. A life that recognizes the life of Jesus every day in my life. The Bible tells us that the apostles, they looked at them. They recognized that they walked with Jesus. They called them Christians. Lord, I pray that even our teenagers all around the world that, that, that will desire to walk with Jesus, that our lives will be different in the name of Jesus. Come on, go ahead. Ask him to draw you. Ask him to walk with you. Ask him, for this is what he wants. He wants us to walk with him. Father, we bless you because you have done it in the might name of Jesus we pray and believe and everybody say Amen. Amen Amen. Thank you so much Collins for leading us through that prayer now as we continue to pray here we are going to pray that God may continuously restore us back to his original design and now in Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 God reminds us that he created us in his own image. He also reminds us that he created us male and female. And that is the way we are meant to lead in this life as he put us on this earth with our different purposes. So let us pray. And as we pray, I will kindly request us that we may continue to humble ourselves and just seek out to God. If we have gone away and straight away from his path and straight away from his design plan, let us ask God for repentance, that we may continuously just, re that we may continuously remember what he created us for and that that is our purpose in this life. God always tells us that when we need help, we should always look unto him because nothing is impossible for him. He tells us that if we knock on his doors, dear Lord Jesus, that he will always open the door, that if we knock, he shall always answer. So let us continue to pray and let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that most times we often feel weary and we always feel burdened by some of the demands that are placed onto us by this world. But I continue to ask that even as we feel strained, whether it is both mentally or physically, dear Lord Jesus, that you may continue to show us the ultimate hope, that you may continue to give us the strength to go into your world. I pray that as you help us, as you send the Holy Spirit to continue to help us repent and believe afresh, that we might gain strength and that our strength may be renewed, that we may continuously run and not grow weary and that you may deliver us from our former ways of thinking. I also pray that you may inwardly keep us, keep renewing us day by day and by day and that you may help us see the bigger picture that we, we shall not always run onto the ways of thinking into the ways of the worldly thinking but we may always remember how you created us in your image and that our bodies are meant to be your temple dear lord jesus i pray that you may fill our hearts dear lord jesus and may continue to guide us you may continue to protect us and watch over us in each and every single thing that we do in jesus name i pray Amen, amen and amen and amen and well you might be watching us or perhaps you just uh, found a way of maybe listening in as you are outside someone is watching you are just picking the voice and you, you are there and you're saying you know what I, I'm, I'm I'm struggling. I'm struggling with, with same-sex attractions. I'm struggling. I have been identifying myself as part of the LGBT community, and now you just want to, just want to get out of it. But you don't know how to get out of it. You're trying by your own might and power, but you seem to be falling back to it. The Bible tells me in John chapter eight, verse thirty-six, that who the sons free is free indeed that son is jesus
Jesus. It is you who sets free and we, are, we shall be set free indeed. There will not be left any loophole of being again brought into captivity of whatever issue has held us in captivity. Now I lift up anyone who has been in the LGBTQ plus community and now would want to be set free but don't know any way how to. Father, open the door. Open the prison door. You who sets the captives free and set them free. Set them free. Grab them by the hand and walk them out of that jail cell. Walk them out of those vile affections. Walk them out from that uncertainty of who they are and introduce them to the certainty of who they are in Christ Jesus. Set them free. We take charge of every thought pattern that would kill them away from the truth in Christ. And we declare that these are for Christ. They are set free by the Son of God in the name of Jesus. As we are praying, you might be saying, you know what, uh, I know you are saying uh, being set free, but yes, I believe I can be set free, but I've gone through so much pain while practicing homosexuality. lost glory is the same one who washes away you can ask the same christ and he will do the same for you would you join me and let's pray for someone pray for yourself that god will take away any shame perhaps you have been going through in jesus name would you raise your voice and start to pray father i want to thank you you who takes away shame mighty god i know lord you can take away shame even now anyone's shame that has been part of the LGBTQ plus community and now seeks to get a place of honor, a place of glory, to return back to you, mighty God. Wash away shame, self-condemnation, guilt, mighty God, that is chewing them up inside their hearts when they are alone. Wash them, wash them and cleanse them totally and also. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You know, Amen. finally, there is prayer that I would want us to pray yes because you might be uh, having a friend you didn't know another they're struggling mm -hmm. and he, he was a friend to you perhaps you're a sister mm -hmm. perhaps a brother perhaps an aunt or an uncle who's now you have now discovered that they are in the LGBTQ plus community same-sex attraction and you we, sometimes you don't know what to do about it you know and jesus gives us an example there was a woman who was caught in the act of adultery and the lord said that she should be stoned mm -hmm. but jesus out of his mercy said i will not judge you go and see no more so the issue is not that they did something but that they will go and see no more yes. so god can give us wisdom on how to handle this yes. and wisdom that is also soaked in mercy yes i would like us to pray that god will give us wisdom on how to handle people who are around us yes. who may be struggling yes. in the area of lgbtq plus yes. and god i know who gives wisdom to any who will ask yes. will pour out shall yes. we pray shall yes. we pray yes. father I want to thank you for you are the one who gives wisdom, mighty God. Now I pray, mighty Jehovah, you who have said that the one who wins a soul is wise. Your children want to be counted among the wise so that they can be soul winners. I pray, mighty God, that you shall pour out your wisdom on how to deal with loved ones, how to deal with friends, how to deal with entire communities, mighty God, here in Uganda and outside the world, regardless of where we are being watched, where it is in the southern tip of Africa, the northern part, with the uh, Europe, America, Asia, we don't care, but we, call, we know that you, Lord, can reach every place in this world. So we pray that you shall reach us with your wisdom. Wisdom that will win souls. Wisdom on how to deal with people who are struggling with this area. How to comfort, how to counsel, how to lead the way and build the kingdom for you. We thank you for we know you have given it to us because we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And everyone will say... Amen. Amen. And you may have said this, and you know, so if you have said this prayer, God is already at work. 
but there's something even bigger that you could have done and that is giving your life to Christ being born again that's very true the Bible says that Jesus Son of God. A daughter of God. Daughter of God. Today, 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 my name, my name is written in the book of life. Is written in the book of life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now, wasn't this a lovely service, y'all? Absolutely. Yeah. Now, if you gave your life to Christ, we would like to hear from you on morph.connect at watertochurch.com and please be sure to follow us on our social media platforms at watertomorph on Instagram. And don't forget, we actually do reply DMs, and we would like to feature you on our Instagram platform. So please make sure to reach out to us every Tuesday for Testimony Tuesday. Hope to see you all next Sunday. Bye. Hold on, hold on, guys. Before we close the service, we have to always make time for... No, it will be easier for you to say no when things are tougher to say no to. Question is, because today's someone was all about prayer, three minutes per prayer, how can I as a teenager maintain a good prayer life? How can I stop getting distracted during prayers and all that stuff? Well, that's a very, very interesting question because you see, people get distracted all the time. Mm -hmm. But perhaps the, the one I would give is that you make it a a prayer lifestyle. Personally, I have a, a time when I pray. I have an alarm. So I just set it. I set it up. When it goes off, I give it some minutes. So it might begin that you can only pray for one minute, but you keep consistent at it. And as you keep on being consistent, even when you get distracted, you are consistent with keeping with that prayer time. You'll find that you are more and more growing in prayer, being more and more focused with prayer mm -hmm. as time goes on. It's not going to happen in one day. It will happen over time. 